Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Y'all, I'm gonna just do a little craft with me today. I am working on my swap. In my swap group, we are doing a movie night swap and preferably a girly type movie. Um, yeah, I've seen several people on YouTube doing like chick flick swaps and I thought that is a great idea. So, um, yeah, I decided, you know what, I told my group, I saw this great idea. Let's do it. Let's do a, a movie night swap. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually swap the movie. We're going to choose a movie. We're not going to tell our partner what it is. We're going to choose a movie and then you're going to make some things that pertain to that movie and you're going to send it all to your partner along with maybe some popcorn and maybe a little treat or something to enjoy while you watch the movie. So what I decided to choose for my movie is 13 going on 30. I absolutely love this movie. This was not going to be my first my first choice, okay? My first choice was Sweet Home Alabama, but I love the 13 going on 30. And yesterday morning I woke up and I was thinking, okay, what can I do for 13 going on, or what can I do for Sweet Home Alabama? And I remembered that I had this new house die that I got from AliExpress and I haven't used it yet. And I thought in 13 going on 30, she has her cute little pink dollhouse that Matt in the movie made for her. And so I thought I could make a little pink house and that could be part of my swap. So anyway, I've already told my partner, please don't watch my videos for a bit. So she already told me she wouldn't watch. So anyway, I thought I would bring you along today, y'all, because I'm gonna build a house today. That's what I'm gonna do. So I took my dies and everything and I made myself a little template just so I would make sure I knew exactly what parts went where. Let me show you the die. It came with this and this is the front and the back or the, the it went on each end. This right here, I was trying to figure out the sides and this one right here actually was for the sides. So I've already cut those. And then this right here, this is, you need to cut two of these. This is for the roof. Um, so actually you're gonna cut two of each one of these for the roof. And then I also thought, well, I need a door. So I went ahead and cut the door. And um, let me find the door piece that I used. So, what did I do with the door piece? I'm still going to cut this one. I think it'll make a nice little trim on the house. But, hold on y'all, I'm trying to make sure I find, this is all the pieces that it came with actually. So, I didn't use those yet. I did cut out the windows, and this is what they end up looking like. But because I'm using, because in that, in that movie, the house is a light pink, so I didn't want the windows to go through to make it look like white, light pink. So I use this really light gray so I can put inside to make it kind of mimic a, a window. So I use that one. And then I also cut the gray pieces for the windows out of this one right here. Oh, here's the door. And this is what I used for the door. So here's my door. But I thought, well, it's kind of plain. And in the movie, the door is white. So I thought I'd make a little screen door or like a little door for the front. So what I did is cut another one of these in this light gray. And then it came with this piece that you could cut out a window. And it also came with another one. So I cut it out. I remember when I was younger having a, like a screen door in our house. Some people have those on their house still. So anyway, that's what I've got cut out so far. I think I'm gonna cut these out as I go. I think I might do like a white trim with this too. I thought that was pretty cute um, to go around the edge. It also came with another house shape. And this right here, actually the die is supposed to be a Kleenex box, but I'm not making it a Kleenex box. So anyway, I believe this is what, would, what you would cut to put on the top of the house so your Kleenex can come out, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do mine different. So, I'm gonna move all these over out of the way. I think I've got all the pieces I need to get started. I'm gonna keep this piece close because I might do a do something with that. And I actually might try something, once I get it built, try to update my roof too. So, this I think this die was, I think I paid like $20 for it. It's I believe it's a KS Craft. 
I'll try to see if I can link it. If not, I will put down below um, what the what the seller was and so forth. And maybe if there's an item number or something like that, I'll see what I can do if you want to snag this house. I liked it because it was actually bigger. Okay, sorry about that. I'll move this out of the way. So this actually was supposed to be a... Um, a tissue box holder or cover and I didn't want it to be a tissue box cover and since it didn't come with a bottom what I did is I just measured it and I made myself a bottom so the house will be all enclosed and it's just going to be a house with no holes in it and I'm just going to make it make it super cute like that so anyway I just made myself um, made myself that so I am going to um, I'm going to like layer this up with with car with the the craft card stock and then my pink over it because that's going to make my house more sturdy. I thought about doing two layers, um, but I think that one we'll probably do it because my craft card stock is pretty thick. So I've gone ahead and cut the the ends of the house and the craft card stock for it, and I've already gone ahead and cut the roof. So I'm doing the roof in this gray. And so I've got the craft card stuck here. And then these two are actually these four or for the sides of the house. So let's get building the house. This is gonna be so much fun. I cannot wait. I really wanted to do Sweet Home Alabama. I love, love, love Reese Witherspoon in that movie. But whenever I started thinking about it, what can I do for that movie? And a lot of the ladies in my swap group, they're writing me saying, you know, this is a tough swap. But y'all, once you get the inspiration, you just kind of keep on going. And I have my inspiration for everything I'm going to make for this. I'm so excited. Okay, so it, it when you cut it out with your die cut machine, it already comes with a little perforated line. So I'm going to go ahead and get those folded. Just fold them carefully. And then I am going to grab the side piece. So I think the side piece will go well, but let me go ahead and see if I can uh, layer up my pink on this. That way it's already layered. So I'm gonna do, go ahead and do that. So let me, I guess I'll use my blue. I don't wanna lose my pen. Okay, I'm gonna get this started, kinda show you what I'm doing, and then I'll come back and as I'm showing the progress. But, you know, I had to kinda figure out how to put this together myself. And, um, you know, because when you buy these dies, they don't give you no instructions. So, okay, so I'm gonna layer up that. And I think I'll go ahead and actually, I think I'll go ahead and layer my other pieces. Putting the bottom on this house really made it so much sturdier. So I think it's gonna work out great. Okay, so I'm gonna do my sides. Okay, and that really, really made it sturdy. If you wanna do a third piece, you know, do card two of this cardstock, go for it, you know, so. Actually, I think before I add that side, I need to do my pink because I want these parts to go underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of fold them. Let's kind of get it going. And then I'll just glue it all together. And this, this paper, um, this pink is a blush color and I got it from Michaels. Okay, so I'm just going to layer these up. I'm gonna go ahead and layer up all my pieces and I'll be right back. Okay. So I got all my pieces, all the all them layered up already. And on my folds for the front and back, you wanna make sure that you fold these nice and precise. I have a little buckle right there. Uh, you can kind of see where the glue is, but it's okay. Once it dries and I cover things up and decorate this, I'm not worried about that. So. So how you're gonna put it together, and I figured the easiest way when I did this was I just layered up on the sides. I need to go like this, and I'm gonna 
add my side piece and make sure the bottom is flush. I'll do this side. I'm gonna put it over here so I can see it better what I'm doing. And so it's gonna go like that. I think that I probably could use some of my quarter inch tape. Let me put the pin on my glue so that doesn't dry up on me. But I think for this, I might use my tape. On the other one, I just use glue, but I'm gonna see how the tape goes. Just so I can make sure it's good and adhered. Uh, just like that. Hopefully you can't hear through the wall. My hubs is out in the garage working on his Mustangs. And he's out there piddling around. He mowed the grass. And so it's a great Sunday afternoon. In a little while, we're going to grill some dinner. And um, we didn't, we ate a good breakfast. So we didn't, we haven't eaten lunch, but we normally will only eat like twice. So, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up this side. I'm going to line this up. You can line it up on, like, if you have a grid mat like I do, line it up on that grid mat so you can make sure that you're getting it as straight as you can before you put it down. And see, and then you'll be able to fold very nicely. See that? So make sure you press down good. Let's see if I got a bone folder over here. I want to make sure my tape is good and adhered. And my husband's in the garage. He's got his, he's got music playing out there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I think what I'll do is I'm going to put the other, I think what I did a while ago is I put this, the other side on. So let me kind of fold this out a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my tape. So you can see where I folded that. So you're kind of creating like each side one at a time. Ah, do whatever you want if you, you know, but I found this was easiest for me. So, Kane went home this morning. If you saw my video yesterday, my grandson Kane was over and he went home. He knows he's got school tomorrow. He didn't really want to go home, but anyway, okay, I'm going to line this up on my grid mat. Let me move it up just a tad. I'm going to make sure I put the little flap underneath. And I'm going to kind of make sure it stays straight because I just want to make sure I'm going to get this nice and straight so your house will be straight. Okay, here I go. I'm holding that down. Don't go over that little score line. You want to make sure that it can still fold. Okay, so there we go. You can, I could have come a little bit closer, but it's okay. It's going to look great. Okay, so there's our sides. Now I'm going to do this one last side. And this one I'm going to need to go ahead and put my tape over here. the swap this is I'm just having a blast I am having just so much fun when I finally nailed down what movie I wanted to do I thought you know this is gonna be so fun and I've already got several things already lined up of what I'm gonna do I've got it and I think I can whip this swap out fairly fast I mean they usually give us like three weeks to get things done but I don't think we're going to need, I don't, I'm not going to need that long. I'm going to be able to get mine out probably in the week. Okay, so I'm going to put this last piece on. Line up your grid mat. Make sure everything is nicely straight. And then I'm going to line this one up. I go over just a little. I want to go past that, but I want to make sure it's as even as I can make it. Okay. 
Okay, so now I've got my base of my house. Now I'm just gonna put these sides together and then we'll have all our walls. Boy, if it only took this quick just to build a house, huh? And this one, I'm just gonna try to line up the bottom and make sure I'm even on that score line. There's my house, look. That's more sturdy because I layered it up. Okay, so for the roof, you're gonna need your two pieces that you had, that you already cut and that I've glued together. And again, I glued these together to make them more sturdy. I'm using my bone folder to give it a good crease. this. I'm going to use my tape. You can glue this if you like, but I'm just going to, I think I'll just try my tape on this one. And peel this off. And I found the best way to do this was to just kind of fold this over, kind of line Line this up just like this. Press it down. So then underneath it looks like this. You could you could glue this to one side or the other, but that's how you're gonna get the peak of your roof. That simple, y'all. Okay, let's just keep going. So now it will sit on here in, in the movie. The house is pink and the roof was like a dark gray, but this is the paper that I had. So, so it's gonna sit just up here, just like this. I think before I put my roof on, I might go ahead and put my door. Just so I can reach, I don't know, it doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna glue these together. I'm gonna make my little, it's like a door in front of a door, like a little screen door, or it just could be trim on the door. Okay, got that. This one's gonna go here. Look how sweet this is gonna be. Got some glue there. This is gonna be so sweet to add the door. Well, I guess I could go ahead and do it. It will make it more sturdy if I add the roof. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna be iffy. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna add the roof. And I'm gonna get some tape on there. Okay, so I'm gonna tape up the top and get the roof on, I'll be right Okay, added my tape. Go ahead and I'm gonna get my roof on. I'm just gonna peel off one side at a time. Just because I wanna make sure I put it on evenly. So, I'm gonna line up my point, line up my roof at the edge of my house. This is the tie that I waited. I waited from AliExpress for like forever. I'm glad it came because I really do like this die. Okay, I'm gonna do this side. Or I wonder if I should have did the other side. No, let me go ahead. My husband is playing music in the garage. I was trying to listen to 13 going on 30 because I've watched the movie to kind of give myself some inspiration and um, if you're in my group let me know what kind of fun you're having because once you get going this is such a fun swap it really is okay got that side down and then this side it kind of I noticed on the other one this side kind of goes over a little bit and I'm not going to force it because I don't want to like make the box kind of wonky. So if it kind of goes out just a little bit, it's okay. But 
because I could kind of move it around, but I think that it's going to be, it's going to kind of stick out just a little bit, but I kind of like that. It's kind of like you've got your ridge up there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to peel this off. So I'm gonna let that let that hang. One more side, then we have our roof. Okay. Help set the bottom open. When I thought about doing this movie, I thought, oh, the possibilities are so endless. And um, there's our house, y'all. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Okay, so. I'm not, before I put the bottom on, I'm gonna go ahead and now I'm gonna put my doors and everything on. And then I'll decorate it. So I'm gonna add my door. The dies, it also came with this die right here. And it kind of makes it look like a screen door a little bit. But every time I cut it, the center ones would not cut. Only the outside and just the out pieces. I didn't want to have to cut it. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just do it this way. So it works for me. So I'm going to make the front of my house. I'm going to make the front of my house where the roof kind of goes out just a little bit. I think that would be, I guess it doesn't really matter. I should, I could have put gray over that, but it's okay. I'm kind of iffy right now, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my get my windows on and my door and I'm not gonna put it totally flush down I'll just put it I put it right in the middle not all when doors are in the middle but I'm gonna make this one in the middle. And I'll come back and put myself a doorknob. Okay, I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna press it down really good. It's what nice to have it open still. Okay, you could put a little window up here. That'd be super cute. Okay, I'm gonna use, get some of my windows. I cut four. So I've cut four of them and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna layer them up and then glue them on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my windows on and I'll be back to show you my progress. Okay, y'all, so I got the roof on. I went ahead and put the windows. So I put one window and eat on the back and sides. I've got my door. I thought I would just do like maybe a black doorknob. Let me see what the black would look like. Or I don't have any small black Jimmy Dots. Um, so let me see what, well, you know what? I guess I'll go with the black because the gray is gonna clash. Or I could do a white doorknob. I think I could do a white one. Okay, let's go ahead and we're gonna glue it on while I'm here. I'm gonna put my doorknob over here. I love this so much, y'all. This is so cute. Oh, me, oh my. Let me get this out. Oh, just a little bit so it's not so close. Okay, so I have this part of the die right here. And I went ahead and cut one for the front and the back. And it's going to be like an extra trim up here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to glue this on. So stinking cute. I am absolutely, you know, sometimes we go, oh, and I think I went down too far on the glue, but oh well. Um, sometimes we just craft and we're making things and all that, but you know what? You should enjoy what you're doing, and y'all, I'm having literally a blast doing this. This is so much fun. Makes me want to commit, create more houses. So I appreciate KS Crafts for making this awesome die. Because I love it. 
Look how cute that made the front. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna just go in here. I'm gonna make sure it's pressed down really well. Let's see, it kind of pops up here. I might see if I can add some glue up under there to make it adhere. Because I got a little glue up underneath where I added the glue, but that ain't doing me no good. So let me see if I just add a little glue and here to the edge to see if I can get that paper just to adhere to it. This is so cute, it's gonna be hard to part with it. But I hope my partner will enjoy this. Maybe it will be in a little addition to her craft room. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that glue grabs this paper. My husband's out there just the singing and whistling. I can hear him whistling to the music he's playing. This music to my ears. I just love it when he's in his happy place. You know, we're in our happy place when we do our crafts. Oops. Okay, I guess I should wait. Hang on to that a sec. I'm just going to hold that for one sec. I don't want to move it too much. Okay, I'm going to add a little glue. You don't want your glue where it will be falling down in there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to hold this. Just hold it in place. I've never sent something like this to my craft partner, my swap partner. So I hope that she'll enjoy this. So I just think that this is such a fun, such a fun swap idea. So glad that I saw it. Looks like a little window up here in the top, doesn't it? So cute. And I love the little colors. Okay, I think maybe that's down. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add it to the back as well. We'll give it some extra little trim. Just like that. Y'all, this is so stinking cute. So stinking cute. You're probably getting tired of if you're still with me. I hope you are. But probably getting tired of me saying that but I am just literally I'm just so it just makes me so happy to sit here and create something like this and just make it your own and just so cute I, I even texted my brother and I said I'm building a house he said you are I said yes I said what color should I make the roof and he went black like a black shirt because I like to wear black shirts and um and I said well but in the movie, I think it's like a darker gray. He said, you better go gray. And then next time, do black. I'm like, okay. So you gotta, I gotta confer with my brother. Love him. Got a little cry from my, with my sister today about missing dad and my mom. And Okay, I'm gonna hold this down. Just hopefully... It will adhere. If it doesn't totally, it's okay. Let me make sure that's down. If you even want to stip a, stick a little piece of tape up under there, it would probably grab it, but I didn't want to stick any tape. So, see how the side's coming up. Anyway, I think you kind of get where I'm going with my little house. I'm going to, after this, I'll put on the bottom. And um, be able to show you how I put on the bottom and how I made the bottom. And um, it actually makes it very much more sturdy. And uh, super cute. Look at this, y'all. Look at the little house. I think maybe it needs a little window up here. Maybe I, could, I have a window like that in my house where it's above my door. Or maybe um, maybe some little uh, little windows on the sides. I'm going to keep decorating and then I'll show you the progress. But how cute is this? 
It's turning out cute. And it needs some little plant boxes. I'm not really sure in the movie if it had plant boxes. I'll have to look. But I could add some little plant boxes. Make it my own. And um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to... Um, I'm going to get ready to put the bottom on. Let me show you that really fast. Okay, so what I did is I, I cut myself a piece of paper and it's like five and three fourths by six. Okay. And of course I cut two and actually this, um, I probably could just do this and maybe make a smaller piece of pink up underneath. So that way then um, it's not too bulky going up inside there. I'm gonna grab my scoreboard and I just cut it I just measured it and then I put it where it is I scored it a half an inch all the way around so I'm just gonna turn it just half an inch all the way around okay and then go ahead and fold Give yourself some good creases. Make it crispy. I think I'm like, like maybe 30. Oops, I tore that, but it's okay. It's going to be up inside. It's going to be okay. Um, I think I like maybe 25 people that participated in the swap. I hope they're having as much fun as I am. Okay, so I've cut this. I'm going to add my pen on my glue. You know how that is. And then I'm going to cut only my little tab. So when you fold it, sorry about that y'all. So when you fold it, you'll just have it and it'll tuck right around. So only cut one. Only cut one. So I'm just going to make sure one on each side, just so I can tuck it up under there. If you wanted to make it where it is a little bit, like if you wanted to do an inch up in there, you can, but I kind of just, I just wanted to make it like it's a floor. I mean, you're not going to look inside. Add a little glue or tape, whatever you prefer. And I'm just gonna press that down. Do the other sides. Absolutely, this house is so cute. Oh my goodness. So cute, y'all. I love this die. Best purchase I've made. I get excited about my craft supplies, but this one, pretty excited about it. Just want to make sure that roof is going down like I wanted it to. And I've got the last one. So there we go. So I think what I'll do is I will cut this one down just so it will cover the bottom. Um, and all you're going to do is you're going to put your adhesive. But I, what I did is I just, sorry about this. I know it's close. Let me get it out a little bit. You're just going to slide it up in there and it should fit right up inside the box. See how that one side's going in? That way you can close the bottom. Or unless you want it to be a tissue box. Okay, so I got it up in there. As you see, you have to do it really careful because you don't have anything up inside to be able to grab it. But it fits flush right up inside there, as you see. So now what I'm gonna do is I have a little piece of paper hanging down. I can trim it. Actually, I might leave it so I can move this thing around. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start. I'm going to just shoot some glue. I'm going to shoot glue all up in here in the side. Get that pressed down. 
I think I'll leave this little piece right here. So if I need to move it, I can pull on that just to get it so nice and even. I'm gonna go ahead and do the back. It helps to have it sideways like this. I hope that you guys are hanging with me. I hope you will hang out and see the end. I think it's gonna be darling. Already so cute. Pressing down. Now I have just one side left to do. I'm gonna lift this up just a little bit so I don't pull anything out of place. And I'm just gonna shoot my glue in there to hold the bottom up in there. I'm gonna press it down. Look how nice that looks, see? And I'm just gonna take a piece of paper and just cut it to size to the bottom. It's my house, y'all. It's looking cute. I'm so excited. If you are with me all the way to now, leave me a comment. I wanna know, because to watch this come to life is just so stinking exciting. It really is. I've never been this excited about a craft project in my life. Okay, I'm gonna just trim this little piece off. Looks like I might need a little bit more glue just right there. Okay, and as you set it down, it's gonna dry. So let me see how big the bottom is. It looks like five by five by about four and three fourths. So this paper that I went ahead and cut, I'm gonna cut it down a little more and then I'm just gonna layer it on the, lay it on there. Five by four and three fourths. Oh, I hope I did not cut the wrong side four and three fours. Okay, I did not. Okay, so this was a craft with me, y'all. I know I talk to myself a lot while I am crafting. This is my how I am. You gotta talk to yourself. Looks like I have a little bit of paper sticking out right there, and I'm gonna get that down. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use my use my glue. I'm going to glue the bottom on. And then I'm just going to finish embellishing, do a little bit of embellishments. I think little flower boxes would be darling. I don't think she has them in the movie, though. And I know I'm trying to replicate the movie. set down so cute <laughs> so so cute and just so sweet look at that y'all look there's the windows look at them they've got the back that trim just made it everything it really did okay so I think I want to make some like little shingles for the top and I do want to I think what I'm gonna do is cut myself some gray strips going across and I think I'll use a scallop punch to scallop the edge so I have some shingles. So I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna cut myself a bunch of shingles and I'll show you what I do then. Okay y'all, so I stopped. Looks like everything is dried up pretty good and my bottom's staying on. I went ahead and I wanna do some little shingles. If I'm making this little house, I might as well go all the way. So I cut myself some one inch. These are actually a little bit less than one inch. Let me see how big I did this. They're about three quarters of an inch wide and by the length of this paper here, which is right under five inches. And I'm just gonna make myself some shingles. Now, I used my little Fisker scallop punch that I have in my stash. And I'm just gonna start by by layering up like a real shingle 
So, I'm going to try glue first. I'm going to see how that's going to work. And, um, okay, I'm just going to get myself, oh, now my glue is all sticking together. Y'all, when I stopped, I've been watching 13 going on 30. I absolutely love that movie, and I just could watch it over and over and over. Okay, I'm going to put myself some glue, and I'm going to start by... I want to make sure I cover the end. I don't want it to, you don't want to see the straight part of the paper. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to smooth it on. And I'm going to do my next one. I'm going to go just where, I'm just going to put it up like right where it just covers where the straight line is. And I'm going to make my way all the way around. So now, by doing this, now it will have the third. This will be like a third layer on here on the top. So it will make it more sturdy. Super cute. Okay. See how that's looking? It's looking good. I'm gonna finish all the way around, show you the end result. Okay, y'all, so I finished all the shingles. Look how good they look. Look at that, that turned out so cute. So now I'm just gonna do a little bit of embellishing. I picked up these stickers yesterday at, um, at Hobby Lobby, and I wanted, I thought a little wreath on the front would look cute. So I'm just going to use the wreath. I'm not going to do too much on the outside, just a few flowers, but I thought adding a little hello wreath above the door or even on the door would be super cute, but I'm thinking I might put it above the door or next to the door. That might be too high. Real, realistically, you would probably hang it on your door. That's cute too. I think I might just do this. I don't want to cover up the cute door. The door's super cute. So there it is. But then I have some little, these little paper studio flowers. And I thought I would just do like a couple little flowers on the front. I don't want them to be too big. I want them to be small. So if you've seen my videos in the past, I hate these little gold look at things sticking out unless they're going the right direction here so there's a small one maybe this one it's got a little dimension in it so I think I could add some little flowers like right here like on the front or if I made myself a little plant box or something and added the little flowers that would be super cute so let me see if I got a scrap of this, of maybe of the lighter gray. Or something to that sort. I'm trying to figure out. Maybe, nope, I don't like that. Don't want to ruin my cute house, y'all. Okay. I'm looking through my stash over here with my scraps that I cut. I'm going to see if I can find a piece of that gray. Yes, I'm digging in my trash. Here it is right here. So I'm going to, I think I'll do it like a little, make a like, make it look like a little pot. I'll try. I'm just going to cut. I just want to cut it. Hope you guys are sticking with me on this. I've had to stop a lot because uh, this is a lot for one video. So I get it. Now I'm just gonna cut this. I'm just gonna cut it. And I think I'll just shape it. Maybe I'll fold it or kind of fold it over and kind of make it kind of look like a little pot or a plant box or something. Okay, I got it too big, so I'm going to go a little smaller. And 
And then I could do like a little flower right here. So I probably need another one over there. So let me grab another, another scrap of gray just so I could have some little plants. And then I think I'm gonna leave it that. And I hope you're not hearing that. My husband, he's still in the garage, y'all. And his Mustang is going and it's loud. So, let me see if I can kind of cut this just like the other one. And then once I'm done with this, I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna start an early dinner for us. I am grilling a steak. I picked up some steak yesterday when I went to the grocery store and some fresh broccoli. Mm -mm. Okay, so now I'll have two little plant boxes, maybe one on each side. I think that will be super cute. And, um, or I might just do one. Or, I just saw something here. Sorry, I know I'm iffy, but there's some little greenery on here, and look at that, y'all. I might like that better than the flower. Okay, I think I'll cut this. So it's just like a little plant. Okay, I'm gonna add my glue. on here so I can adhere it to the paper oops I'm going the wrong way I am not doing good there let me do this one I should have put my glue on the other side there got myself a little plant And then I'm gonna need some foam tape to put this on. And then, oh, I am almost done. This has been a project, but it's been a super, super, very fun project. I have thoroughly enjoyed myself. Okay. Gonna have a little plant. Oh, there goes my husband again with his loud car. Okay, pressing down. Look at that. That's cute. That's cute. Now I don't think it I don't think we have this other little one will match very good. Yeah, so he's got a revin, y'all. I don't want to say, hun, your thing is too loud. No. Okay. I am thinking, I'm wondering if I should put the little hello over here or just leave it with one or go ahead and do the other plant box with the flower. So I have a little flower and I think I'm going to do this up here. I think I'll do that up there. Let me add a little bit of foam. I think that I'll call it quits, y'all. I think it'll be good. So anyway, so again, I am trying to replicate um, 13 going on 30, some things in there. So this is supposed to represent the little house. I wonder if I could take the hello off. Yes, I can. I'll just put a wreath. I don't know, I might put the hello back on. <laughs> But anyway, supposed to represent 13 going on 30. And this is little supposed to represent the little pink house that he gave her in the movie. And yeah. I'm so glad that she woke up and they end up getting married in the end. I sure hope I'm doing this the right way here. I think I'll put it up here. Okay, I'm just going to leave that like that. This is what my house looks like. I hope you guys like coming along with my crafting. I don't know, I might add a little bit more. Um, whenever I package this up to send to her, 
I will show you all the end result. I hope that you will enjoy this and it will be maybe something good in her craft room as well. But anyway, yeah, that's it y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's not too all over the place. Um, whenever I'm crafting, that's just kind of how it is. I'm just got to think in my mind what I want to do, mostly with something like this. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks so much for coming along with me, and I'll see you soon. Bye.